Harmony is Happy Cruising, and I'll show you the definite of Harmony of the Seas. There are 18 decks on Harmony of the Seas, but deck 2 and deck 1 is for interiors, where um, all the employees of Royal Caribbean stay, and on the first floor is just a clinic and where you go to board off the ship. So, over here is the Royal Theater where you see lots of shows like Greece and Columbus. Um, if you just go, that's the back of the ship. So if you just go a little to the front, there's two elevators and there's some restrooms. And over here, if you're like a businessman or woman, if you just wanted to hear like some ideas, um, there's this conference center you can go to with other businessmen and women. There, if you're handicapped, um, there are some handicap rooms for you, and um, it will be not a problem for you guys if you want to go on this cruise. Over here is the main dining room. There are, there are three levels of the main dining room, counting for three decks. Like, there's one for deck three, deck four, and deck five. If you go through the front of the ship, there's nothing else. Now let's go to deck. It's a, there's uh, two floors of a Royal the Theater that I forgot to tell you guys. Um, there's, um, if you go down here, there is the Entertainment Palace, where there's like an art gallery over here, and over here's the attic, like comedians go to, over here's the Jazz on Floor, and when I go on my cruise, on, um, when I go on Harmony of the Seas, on probably like February, I'll go on jazz for every single day because I love jazz. Over here is a diamond club where um, people who have been cruising for a long time for a long times um, can go there. Over here is Studio B. It's like an ice skating rink or right here, but um, Studio B they have like show I show like uh, 1887 um, and other shows. Over here is the Casino Royale, is if you want to like gamble for something, like if you want to do poker, slot machines, and other stuff. Over here is the main dining room, this is the second level of the main dining room. Now, let's go to Deck 5. Over here is the Spa and Fitness Center. So, this floor has a spa. Over here, another story <laughs> for the Royal Theater. Over here is the running trailer that goes throughout the whole perimeter of Harmony of the Seas on deck five and one exercise. Over here are some elevators that guys can go to, bathrooms. Over here is the on air um, club, and over this area is the Royal Promenade, which you really, really, really love. Over here is the Boleros. It's like a bar area. This is retail. It's shopping areas for Harmony of the Seas. There's Boot and Bonnet Pub, where they serve beer. Lots of beer. Sorrentos, which is a really nice um, cuisine. Kate Spade. Um, I have a feeling like that's like an area where you where you shop basically like since they have these things like on certain days they put um watches jewelry purses and shirts over there over here's the cafe promenade which you can have like free coffee and free hot chocolate if there's kids with you here is the next cruise where if you want to book your cruise here is the Rising Tide Bar. It's like this little um, elevator, but it's like area full of people. It's like a built-in bar that goes up and down, but it goes really slow instead of like the regular elevator. So if you're like the type of person who wants to have a relaxing, smooth ride on a fresh morning, you can go here. Over here is like guest services if you like lose your key card or you need help on any other shore excursions. Here's the place you want to go. This is the Bionic Bar. It's the most coolest bar that is there. Though this bar 
is made by Robot Arms. So there's this one called Clone Me that it per it uh, makes the bar like from robots like from different cocktails. Here is port shopping, which is I think like they take stuff from the ports that they go to, roll curving, and then they just put it here if people don't have enough time. Over here's another shop that you can go to. They sell Legos for your kids, um, t-shirts, souvenirs, um, and people like to say that they have like a sport collection that they have. Here's another elevator, and this is the third main dining room over here. So, it's actually pretty good to go to the main dining room. There's this thing called My Time Dining, it's like you have it on your key card. It depends on what deck you're on, to ch so you can be on which, which um, dining room you can go to. So that's a good area. Over here is the Aqua Theater, and I heard some good reviews on the Aqua Theater. It's like they have the Aqua Show of The Fine Line and other shows. So if you want to go there, feel free. It's really good. Now, here is the fitness center where you can go to. Over here is another shopping plaza, basically. Uh, Biology Cafe is where, um, though over here is where adults can go to, no children allowed. Here is a schooner bar. Uh, Focus is an area where, um, they, instead of taking pictures and printing them out, they print them on digitally and give you like a USB or a micro SD card. Over here's some more elevators. Here's restrooms. Over here is boardwalk doghouse. Oh, I forgot to tell you that this whole area right here is the boardwalk. Okay, boardwalk doghouse is basically where they um, sell you hot dogs and they have really good hot dogs there. Here's Starbucks where all the Starbucks fans are. Um, over here is like an old carousel where like the little children can go on, anyone could go on it, make you feel like a kid again. Over here is like a little arcade, is, over here is Johnny Rockets, Sabor, and it's a Sabor bar, and this is the lucky climber where, um, little kids can go on instead of going to those, um, other rock climb areas, which is like pretty hot. Now to deck seven. It's mostly rooms, rooms, and over here is the rock climbing where like kids about like who are experienced rock climbers or like beginners. Like for me, I'm a beginner, but I can go on this thing. Up to deck eight. Here is lots of state rooms, but over here is bars, um, shopping areas, lots of other bars, James Italian, and over here is Central Park, where I can go to, and over here is Park Cafe, and it's like really good. Over here is 150 Central Park, over here is Shop Grill, and um, Dazzles, I don't know what that place is, and over here, these state rooms connect to the um, boardwalk or Central Park. Now to Deck 9. These are mainly like suites, studio rooms, or like um, balconies. So basically just state rooms and suites. But over here is Dazzles and over here is other boardwalk. Now up to the 10, more rooms, more rooms, elevator, and more rooms. And this is probably, I feel like, a family room where you can go to. Like, you have lots of family members, you can probably walk through. Up to 11, here is lots of state rooms, lots of state rooms, but over here is like an area where you can just walk around overlook the whole boardwalk or the central park area 
now to deck 11. This is starting to begin the funner part on the higher decks, which is going to be really cool. Now to deck 12. This is a small area, but over here is Wonderland, where they, s they give you food that, like, doesn't make any sense. Like, um, there's one that I saw that they have a, this circular chocolate ball, and they pour, like, molten, um, caramel on it, and that makes the chocolate ball melt into it, and it's, like, so cool. Now, to deck 13, like, 14, actually. Over here is the king of the world. It's, like, this glass, um, air, like, this glass bottom floor that you just walk up overlooking the whole seat right under you here's a salam solarium sorry another um for only adults but if you get inside there's an area for kids um the voyagers the aquanauts um adventure art adventure science the theater like where kids want to go to, to watch a movie um a nursery and another little nursery over here is an escape room where you can go to. It's called Puzzle Break. And over here is a card room where you can just do like board games or look on the computers, like for information about this cruise. Now to deck 15. Here's like they have. I forgot to tell you that there's two or three decks on the solarium. There's a solarium bistro. Where it's like a buffet where only adults can go to. Over here's the whirlpool. And there's like th there's like this button you have to press and then all of a sudden they shoot out jets of water. It's cool. Over here is the perfect storm water slide. There's like two um racer slides where you can compete with each other. Um over here's the other water slide, perfect storm water slide, is like this funnel shape. And as it's like a, it tops up with a champagne um, glass finish. Here's the main pool, and here's the beach pool. The beach pool is mainly for sports, while the main pool is just for relaxation. Over here's the sand bar and the pool bar. And there are like some stairs leading to the next deck. This here's the sports pool. Sorry about that. I got mixed up. Over here, Splash Away Bay is where you can drop your kids off, or you can be with your kids playing in this water park. They even have like a little tiny slide. Over here, it's where like teenagers 12 to like 18 can go to the living room, the fuel disco, the, which is like a area like you can go like at like 9 p.m. or something. Over here is their video arcade and. Over here is shopping areas where um, teenagers would like to buy stuff. Over here is mini bites and it's included and that's included. And I forgot to, to tell you that um, this uh, has a patio which overlooks the boardwalk or central park. Over here is Harmony Dunes where it's like a mini golf course. Here's like a sports core that you can do a dodgeball, basketball, and soccer. Here are flow riders. And here is another flow rider, and you're about to see the ultimate abyss. Here's the third floor of the Salam Bar. Here's perfect storm water slides, the mask bar, um, when jammers marketplace like a buffet that's like really good. Over here's the flow rider. Over here's the wipeout bar where um parents can go to see their like kids. Um, to see their kids go on the floor rider while they have a little drink. Over here is the ultimate abyss. They can go down 10 stories. Over here is a zip line that can go across the boardwalk. It's actually pretty fun. Now, to deck 16. Oh, where to go? The sweet sun deck is only for sweet guests. They have their own bar and lounge. Over here is the top of the perfect storm water slides and as you go down here's the coastal kitchen in the sweet lounge room sweet lounge again guest again have them for themselves now for last deck deck 18 there's 
the launch area for the perfect storm water slides. And here's some more speeds. So, thank you for watching this video and hope to see you on the cruise ship, Harmony of the Seas. Thank you very much. Bye!